What's going on everybody? Cheetos back right here and today I will show you how you can make money playing the game of Blackjack from home using the no bus strategy. Alright, so the no bus strategy it's pretty straightforward. As soon as you get 12, you don't hit. Okay, so over 12, 12 or over, you do not hit. You just wait because you want the dealer to bus. You do not want to give the dealer, all right, a chance to win without even pulling a card. Okay, so that means you cannot ever, ever bus. So that's going to give you an extra chance to win playing the game of Blackjack. All right, so I'm going to wait. And now playing one on one versus the dealer. There's also other players, as you can see here, all the other players. Some of them will ask for another card, but for me, 12 or over, I never ask a card because I want to give an extra chance on my side, right? So, we're going to play the no bust strategy with my betting progression, which is not the Martingale. So, as you can see, my balance, this is the balance for low rollers, all right? So... I'm here just to prove everyone, especially the low orders, that every, even if you have a small bankroll, you can grow it small by small by small by small. So when you grow your bankroll, you grow your bet. If you grow your bet, you grow your winning, right? So this is how it works. All right, so we go. Got that sound here. So there's all those... 21 plus 3 bonus perfect pair guys those are like side bet on back right? those are soccer bets do not ever play those bets all right just keep your mind track of the no bus strategy that's it so i have 18 so i'm gonna stay on 18 stand right here so i'm gonna try to get around five units just to demonstrate to you guys that uh, no bus is the real deal. For all those dead, jealous, broke, <laughs> jealous haters who say it, it cannot work, well, guess what? It does work, and I have a proof right here. A la at your boy. One win right here. So we're going to re bet right here. So let's go to 130s. Then I'm going to make six units. So. Guys, one difference between Blackjack and Baccarat, the way I play, is Blackjack, there's you don't need to wait to skip a hand. You just you can play every single hand. Baccarat is not the same thing because there's pattern and stuff like that. Blackjack is a totally different game. So you can play every single hand, Blackjack. There's no problem right there. Alright, so 13. So that, that that is a good example, guys. Technically, I will have to hit, alright? Well, that's what the book said. That's what the book said that the book that the casino provide the players said, <laughs> right? So I'm just going to stand because I want to give my chance to not bust, all right? So we have 10, we have 21, so I would have lost anyway, right? So I'm just going to double my bear right here, so double right here too, all right? So sometimes, I'm, I'm, am I going to lose sometimes, even if I should have it? Yes, but long term, the no bus strategy work, all right? And every single end, I have a chance to win. If you use by the book, sometimes you're going you're gonna to blow, blow up bus before the dealer even draw her card, you know? So now I'm going to stand right here. No insurance. She probably has a blackjack, but, you know, what you want to do at that point, you know? You just got to keep focus on the goal right here. Follow the strategy and the bending progression. So 17, it's not that bad. She have an ace, probably 20, 18, 19, stuff like that. But what you want to do? 17, I'm going to stand on that, you know? There's so much that we can control, right? So 14. 13 bus, 16 face card, bust. And she busts. So now we got another unit. So let's go ahead for a third unit. All right. 
So that's how it is. Playing the no bus strategy, guys, it's so not stressful. All right? You just need to place your bet and check. Is it over or under 12? If it's over, you just have to wait. So probably 90% of the time, what you have to do is wait. That's it. <laughs> so it's pretty straightforward. Anyone can do it. I'm going to stand in, guys. If you want to know exactly where I play, visit my website. Cheetosbackrod.com is going to send directly to the website that I play for the bad thing for the past four years. It's 100% legit. When you withdraw your money, you get money, your money within four, 24 hours. No question asked, which is 10 bucks withdraw or $10,000. No question asked. You get your money like this. All right. So 14, that's a bit tricky. I'm going to stay in here against a six. So let's hope she has two face guard right here. All right. Not a face guard. <laughs> Oh boy, another win. You see how simple it is? You see how simple it is with the no bus strategy. You don't have to always ask yourself, oh, do I have to split? Do I have to double up? Uh, does the book say to, to hit? Ah, oh, fuck, I don't remember. Oh, let me go check my book. None of that BS. No bus strategy might sound too much easy, but it works because the casino knows that the players are not disciplined and they like to look at their little book and say, oh, the book says she hit. I should hit, right? The casino says she should hit to give your freaking money to the casino. Guys, you need to retrain your brain. This is what you have to do every single day. You need to grind, grind your ass, baby. Let's go. Seventeen. Alright, that's a really good position right here because if the dealer has a 17, she's going to stand. I'm going to tie, so there's going to be a no, no bet here. If she has below, she needs to draw another card. Might be a face card. There you go, 17. No, that, that's her card. Oh, 18. <laughs> the only card she cannot have. Alright. Alright, so now I'm going to do our bet right here. So, so far, so good, guys. We didn't pass the second step of my betting progression. So, so far, so good. <laughs> yeah, playing blackjack for me compared to Baccarat is like a side mission. You know, it's really not stressful. You know, it's easy to follow for everyone, you know. I know back riding is my main thing, but blackjack is just like once in a while. It's really fun and also make money. So now I will hit <laughs> for the first time. I can hit because I have nine. All right. And probably suckers will probably double their bet there. If you ask me, it's ridiculous. Double the chance to give your money to the casino. So just simple hit. That's what it is. 19. 19 is good. But she has a face card. She might have another face guard. Who knows? But 19 is a good position. So now I don't know why people are... I don't know. Man. 13. That's really good for us right now. Face guard. 17. There you go. I'll take that all day, baby. All day. What? So now, two more units. And yeah, if those were you know, $50 or $100 units, you'll be up a, a lot of money right now. Let me tell you that, guys. But like I said, this is a demonstration for the low rollers. And for everyone who thinks the no bus strategy does not work, it does work. There you go. There you go. Our first 20 of the day. I'm going to stand. Probably the book said to split. Like I said, if you split, double the chance to give your money to the casino. That's exactly what they want. Why do you think they allow you to split? Why do you think that? <laughs> Why do you think? You know? You think if you can split, whatever. Do what you want, but you never split. 
Now look at all those people. Ace. Come on. 20 against a 4 is a perfect spot. Let me tell you that. Is an ideal spot. Oh my god. Now that we're all waiting for those suckers to decide. 14. Perfect spot for us. And bust. And bust. Alright, so already five units in MA guys. Five units already. Already. Like this. So let's let's go for one more unit. Why not? Let's go for one more unit. And that's how it is. That's how it's so simple. But I guess it's too simple for some people, you know. Some people like to complicate the their life and the, the way they play the game, you know? It's like, if it's too easy, it's, it's not gonna work. Nah, sometimes the easy thing works, you know? Hmm. 18 against a 5. Stand. And those here, the 202 people, guys, that's all many people are playing at that table. And when you see dropping, because if they drop, they all descend to stand. If you see like two plus, I mean those people are asking another card. So they're asking another card on 18. How ridiculous. How ridiculous. 21. How ridiculous. You see? They ask another card. The card that they they asked was a face card. Like yeah, Jack. So if those two idiots we just stand like a normal people, you know. The face card would have gone to the dealer and the dealer would have bust. But no, she got a 21 because those two idiots decide to hit on an 18. Even the books say don't hit on an 18. Oh, man. There is more stupid people in the world you can't believe, guys. Trust me. So, stand. So... Maybe we can pass the third step so you guys can see the betting progression a bit. So how does it work when you lose more than three, four hands in a row? But we'll see. We'll see. 15 against a four. You see 53 here? That means 52 people decide to hit. That's what it means. And they bust. They bust. Face guard. 23 and I win. I win. All I do is win, win, win. And let's target one more unit. And the 53 people that I just show you decide to hit, they hit a nine, then they bust. Why? Because they give the money to the casino. They didn't give themselves a chance to wait the result. They lost already, you know? It's like if we're playing hockey, you're like, all right, you know, we're going to play three periods. I give you the first one. Win the first one through nothing, so we're gonna start a second and we're trailing to nothing. That's exactly the same thing. Fourteen. All right, so this is probably the only time I don't feel really confident, but I, I need to follow the no bus. I need to follow the no bus. You know, you need to follow the rules here, right? She might have a, a five or two or three or four. You know, who knows, all right? But you need to follow the strategy. And there you go, I would have bust. <laughs> I would have bust. But now I have a chance. I might lose. I might lose, but I give myself a chance. And I win. 14. Oh my God. All right, I'm going to end the session there. But did you see, guys? 14 against... A face card of the dealer. Probably all, not probably, all the kids you know, all the books will say, I will bet my house that you need to hit the 14 because she has a 10. She has a 10, but probably has a 20, 19 dealer. You have a fucking 14. What are the chance you win with a 14? Of course. 
She has more chance to win. She has the 10. But why would I hit? I might bust. And did you see that? Did you see that? Backward the video if you didn't see it. I would have had, I think it's 22. A hate come up. Number eight come up. I would have bust. I would have bust. And I would say, all right. Against a 10, it's okay to bust. No, no, no. You need to play every single hand with your mind. With your mind and strategy. The no bust strategy, right? I did not hit. I stay with my 14. Everybody probably look at me and say, what are you doing? Do you know how to play? Uh, you should hit. Well, you tell me that because you want me to give you my money that you're going to give to the pit boss, that the pit boss is going to give to the big boss, and the big boss is going to give to all the big corporation? No freaking way. I stay put with myself, my strategy, 14, and guess what? I win money every freaking day with that strategy.